I think I can safely say that this is perhaps the best backdrop in Nomad history. That's the Pacific Ocean. That's the cliff sides of Lima, Peru. I'm here in South America in one of the soccer craziest countries on the continent. And I'm here to see not just one, but two matches in Peru's Premier Division. Lima is the epicenter of Peru's national soccer culture. Today we're going to see one of the smaller venues, only 15,000 seats for San Martin. And then we're going to see one of the oldest clubs in Peru. The first thing you notice around here is that people are playing soccer everywhere, from parks to the most beautiful backdrop ever. How much Spanish do I speak? Un poquito. I can get by, but I'm bringing along with me a friend of a friend. Peruvian native and Lima resident Juanti is going to bring me around. He's a huge soccer fan. So today we get a chaperone. This is ahem, the ticket office. We're not in the States anymore, Toto. No bells and whistles, no jumbotron. This is the throwback hand-operated scoreboard, and I love it. This little guy was the loudest fan in the stadium today, but he kind of clammed up when he saw the camera on him. Ah, but don't worry. Let's hear it, Junior. All right, game number one is over. Time to get lunch before game number two. And yep, that's my bus. Fear not, I can roll with it. There's parts of it that are dusty, not necessarily the most scenic. But when you come down to Miraflores, which is right here on the ocean, it's jaw-dropping. I'm looking for more Cusqueñas and more Pisco Sours. Who's with me? Mundo me da. Me ha 
tiempo de emoción Nunca antes había sentido así Más cerveza from lunch of delicious roast pork and cervezas at the local market to game number two at Universitario, one of the most storied and popular club teams in Peru. The street culture on the walk to the stadium is amazing. <laughs> Look at the setting. Look at those mountains. Is this not the most amazing backdrop for a match? Yes, in the U.S., we don't normally have wire fencing separating two sections of the stadium. But I can honestly say, if this was supposed to keep me safe from the yahoos inside, I never felt in danger or threatened at any moment in any of these two matches. you don't understand soccer, I wish I could just put you in the stadium on a Sunday afternoon so that you could just experience this. Then you would totally understand how amazing it is. Look at that. How amazing is that? Juan, la vista es buena. Oh man, every 10 feet I wanted to stop and eat at all of these food carts. The smells, my goodness, it was like I had died and gone to South American culinary heaven. Now that was a big day. Two Peruvian soccer games. We got a market, food, a bus, multiple taxis. That was a big day. On to Cusco, the spiritual center of Peru and all of its sacred sites, including Machu Picchu, one of the wonders of the world. I want to explore the way a nation of crazy soccer fans connects to itself through a simple game. This is Ruli, a good family friend, a brother, and a tour guide to the sacred places of the country. If we're talking about soccer, behind that is so many things. We feel like uh, we are a warrior. When, uh, when, when they play, no? 4,000 teams start the second league of Peru. So that means why we play football? Because it's a religion, because mainly it's every Sunday, you know? And we forget about the, our problems, something like a therapy, you know? You just, just thinking in that moment. We, we feel this passion, or we, we feel this spirituality there. And it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of things, as I tell you, behind that. And, that is the football is so important, not just in Peru, I believe in all South America, because it's uh, like a you killing 
your problems when you are looking or watching TV or just when you are playing football. What is the spirituality in soccer or in football? They, they, they be together as a one because it's, I know it's just 11 players but Baha'i is a thousand ones and they believe in just one, like a one spirituality, one union as a group. Of course, later could be the sadness because they, they just lost, or could be the happiness because the team just win and it's just one. It's just amazing how also they, in order to be the winner, they, how they talk with the mountains, with the Mother Earth, how they doing these offerings, you know, to coca leaves like a I hope universe, we win in this Sunday, you know. When my father used to play, and it's pro probably a penalty, and I remember my childhood when, when the goalkeeper is right there trying to protect, you know, my mother looking, you know, from the stadium and she just used her hands and speed like that. She's helping to protect the goalkeeper position in order the shooter don't convert the, the goal, no? The color our our uniform, the white, the pure and the red, represent the red, they say, like a, we are a warriors, represent our blood, we are a Incas. And the nice one now, we play, Peru is playing, we say, like a musicians, musicians, it's like they play, you know, like this. We believe that in Spanish we say tocar. Tocar means like they pass, 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 pass. And this was our game and we lost and now it's coming back again. You watch the pass, the pass, the pass, the move down the field, the move back, and that's just like the Peruvian flute. Yes, exactly. On the coast, in the Andes, on the jungle, just is the only sport who join as a one. But the cultural, we are different. You forget your, your worries, your sadness, you will forget everything and just live in the moment, which is the game for 90 minutes. When we play outside with another countries, they say, the Incas playing now, which is Peru. And behind that, we feel just proud of that. It represents how we, every day, we fighting to be better person, to make some money, to be happy. Behind that is that, because every day we try to grow in, to be a best person. They, they don't say Peru is playing, they say the Incas playing. It make me feel proud. We're building Sacsayhuaman, we're building Machu Picchu, and that is we saw when they playing, you know, when they running, when they compete, when they fighting with one volume. And that is how we feel, because thanks to those guys who, who call us the Incas, the Incas are playing. And we, we take this example for them to fighting in our real simple life, to be a better person, to growing up by ourselves, to change this world, we want to be a better Peruvian, better, better person, because these leaders teach us that, to compete, to fighting until the last second. This is my second time here, and without a doubt, Peru is one of the most special places I've been in the entire world. If you enjoyed the episode, please tell your friends, pass it along to others, leave a comment, like it. Peruvians are hardworking, they're spiritual, they're passionate, and they're prideful. And the connection to all of those dynamics in their soccer is undeniable. Remember to subscribe by clicking on that button right there, and you'll get notifications of brand new episodes. And as a public service announcement, if there is a soccer stadium, a soccer team, or a soccer nation you think I should be at, let me know, leave it in the comments. I'm always game. From the cities, and the mountains, and the jungle, and the cloud forest. Amendo, out.